I think it is time to say goodbye to Uber Black. And here's why. Uber Black is great, especially if you are doing it full time. And when you have your own car, there are a lot of expenses that comes with it. First of all is the car payment, depending on what kind of car you bought. Your payment starts from like 600, it goes maybe sometimes over $1,000. This monthly payment for the car, not including expenses like oil changes, brake changes. Hopefully nothing breaks on the car, but also commercial insurance is pretty expensive. And uh, to the Uber Black, you have, uh, you have to have commercial insurance with a coverage of $750,000. And uh, for a sedan, it's around $8,500. And uh, it goes to 9,000 9, to 9,500 for SUV. And monthly payment for that insurance will be around uh, 700 to 800 dollars every single month. So overall, at least 1,500 dollars you have to have in order to operate Uber Black. When you are driving yourself and you can put around 10 to 12 hours every single day to make it work, because uh, most likely with a 12-hour shift every day, you can make at least four to 500 dollars if you know where to stay, if you know what kind of works to do. But overall, if you don't put all that amount of time to, to work, it doesn't make any sense to have Uber Black because of those expenses. Because if in one month you don't work at all, you will have to pay 1,500 at least to just maintain the car and insurance because insurance doesn't care if you are working, if you are sick, if you have money, if you don't have money, it doesn't matter for them. And the same thing with the car payment. So you have to, you take that responsibility and you work towards it, right, overall. But in my case, I think it's time for me to say goodbye to Uber Black and uh, sell my car. Because I don't have that much of a time to put like 12 hour shifts to drive my car. And uh, I, I rented out my car for at least four months now and uh, I just got my car back. My insurance is paid until October 20th, so it is almost one month left to renew insurance. And, I'm, and I thought a lot about the renewing insurance or not and I came to the conclusion that renting out the car is not as profitable as I wished it was. I believe to understand my decisions, we have to go over some numbers and uh, hopefully you will understand where I stand right now. So the total price of the vehicle, let's say approximately I owe $20,000 for a car, $20,000 for a car that I owe as of right now and uh, yearly insurance for my vehicle is uh, $8,500 every single year. My monthly payment for the car is approximately $750 monthly and the payment for insurance is almost $700 monthly. If I rent out my car, the market value for the rental is around $600 a week and uh, I was right here rental is approximately $600 a week. It equals to $2,400 a month. This is the monthly income that I receive if I rent out the car. And the sum of my expenses, $750 per month plus $700 for insurance. The total for monthly expenses for the car will be $1,450. If we de deduct it from the monthly rental that comes, overall it will be $950. $2,400 minus $1,450. So the money that will stay with me is $950 and it doesn't look bad 
not working and making $950 when my car is working every every single day basically and I make $950 and here's a few disadvantages and few problems with this $950 sometimes renters they return the car after two three months because especially nowadays wood black is not as busy and that's why uh, many people they go into basically debt or it doesn't make any financial sense for them to rent out the car and Uber Black because the business is slow, right? And here and there, a one week, two week, my car is in my parking lot basically. When I have time, I work. When I, when I don't have time, I have to pay myself this $1,450 worth of expenses every single month. And if we calculate it uh, yearly, Every single week, I rent out my car for $600, right? We put it 600, multiply by four, which are four days, uh, four weeks a month, and the total is $2,400. And we multiply it by 12 months of a year, the total is $28,800. And if we deduct here 8,000, 500 worth of insurance that I pay yearly the total will be two thousand three hundred dollars if I rent my car for six hundred dollars every single week during 12 months the total amount that it will bring me is twenty thousand three hundred dollars and here we excluded the insurance so we are you are not worried about the insurance right now if we multiply 750 by 12 750 because my monthly payment for the car is 750 by 12 during a year how much it will go towards my payment it is 750 multiplied by 12 goes nine thousand dollars and we deduct here nine thousand dollars and overall we'll have eleven thousand three hundred dollars would be nine thousand dollars and here with this price we didn't include any expenses so what kind of expenses are there i uh, do an oil change for a car so the oil change is 120 dollars approximately 120 multiplied by 12 is 1440 dollars 1440 dollars the total price will be $9,860. This is the amount of money that comes into my pocket, basically. And here, we are not including any other expenses that uh, happens with a car. I'm pretty sure that during 12 months, basically a year, I will have to do the brake change. And uh, here and there, a few things might break. Even though my car is under warranty, there are a few things that they, they don't cover under warranty. One of them is the battery, 12 volt battery. It went bad a few days ago when my car was rented out. And when I called them and I asked them, they said that 12 volt battery does not is not covered by warranty. So basically I had to buy it myself. It would cost around $200. And here and there, uh, let's put it $200. It would total is $9,660. And here and there expenses come by. Right now my car has over 70,600 miles on it during a year basically me and drivers that drove my car they put approximately 25,000 miles on it and from my calculation when the car is rented out uh, they make at least one they put at least 1,000 uh, miles every single week so if we put 1,000 miles every week, multiply it by four, it is 4,000, multiply it by 12, it is approximately 48,000 miles. We are putting this because we are looking at the 12 month, and overall, uh, during that 12 month that we make $9,660, the car will have plus 48,000 miles on it. And overall, it will be 118,000 miles on a car. And this is the best scenario. And I let's say that the car was rented out six, $600 every single week. And uh, 
the money that came into my pocket is $9,660 and my car has now approximately $118,000 and the value of the car will go down to approximately $15,000. $15,000 the value of the car after one year. If it will not break like uh, nothing major like transmission or the engine and the value of the car is approximately $15,000. After a year, there will be approximately six months to, to a year left to do Uber Black because Uber Black has a yearly limit. And there's no guarantee that I could sell the car after a year, uh, approximately $15,000, knowing that the car has around 118,000 miles on it. I've seen on the ad that these cars, they have over 225,000 miles on it, but I don't know if you can do it without uh, major expenses like changing the transmission, changing the engine itself. And here and there, a few things will break. When I bought this car, there were two issues that came up. The screen didn't work. I, I went to change it with the warranty because my, heart, my car has warranty and it still has a warranty until 100,000 miles on it or July or August of 2024, whichever comes first. And my plan is to or do not renew my insurance, which comes on October 21st and uh, sell the car during that time. And I'm um, thinking about selling it as a market value for $21,000. And the difference is selling it right now for $21,000 or selling it after a year for $15,000. The difference is approximately $6,000. If we deducted $6,000 here, why we're deducting here? Because this is the total earning that comes into my pocket if I rent out the car for 12 months straight. And the total here comes with $3,660. If, in the best case scenario, my car is rented out for 12 months straight, it brought me this amount of money. If I sold my car right now and not wait a year to sell it, which the price will be lower because the miles will be high and also it will lose value every single month, I would say, I will lose $3,660. This is the chance that I'll take. I think that this is the best case option because during a year, if something breaks, it is transmission or the engine or something else that is measured that is not covered under warranty, it will be probably less than $3,000, but I don't want to take that risk. I would likely to sell the car right now and get my $21,000 back if, if I can do so, then waiting one year and basically doing all my best to rent out my car every single week during that 12 month and uh, to have the value of the car for $15,000 and here it would be very hard to sell this car because it will have only one year left to do Uber Black if they don't change anything if they change it shorten it the, the year for the Uber Black it will be out of Uber Black a lot sooner I'll try my best to sell the car for $21,000 uh, because it has, it still has a warranty until 100,000 miles or I believe it is August of 2024, whichever comes first, it still has a warranty and the car has 7,600 miles on it. And when I did go through the Kelly Blue Book, this is the, the, the lowest price that you could possibly sell it for. And that's why I'm going for $21,000. If I can do it, I'll sell it even tomorrow. But still, if I was driving this car myself, it would make a lot more sense for me. But fortunately or unfortunately, there are a few other projects that I'm working on and there is not enough time to do over black. And this is the reason I'm planning on selling my car because the numbers are not my friend right now. And that's why I'm making this video and putting on my YouTube channel because there are a lot of people who watch my videos about Uber Black. And uh, maybe there's someone who wants to buy my car and to have at least uh, around two years to do Uber Black. And if the numbers work, work out for you, if you have time to put uh, on and uh, drive for Uber Black, it will make a lot more sense for you. If I sell my car, uh, most likely it will be the end of my Uber Black journey. 
But there are another project that we are working on and that uh, I could share it with you because it, it is a lot more exciting than doing Uber bikes. So I hope that you guys will understand me. If anyone is interested in buying my car, feel free to contact me. My contact numbers will be in the description or you can just uh, leave the comments and we'll, we go from there. Almost one year ago here at this spot, I uh, recorded a video about how I bought my car, this beautiful Cadillac. And uh, today I'm making a video that I'm selling my car. I had this car almost one year.